All right, welcome back. Once again, we got Jack. We got the distilled Deadhead IPA, the West Coast style. There's many different variations of this, uh, the Deadhead IPA. I think there's at least like eight or so. Jack's pissed. He's already had a carrot and a half, and he's still wanting more. Dude, I got to search for this stuff on Untapped. I got four beers from uh, Uncorked and Shawnee. Lovely lady up there. I'm not sure if she's the owner or just a worker. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Lots ahead. What's the date on this sucker? 8, 12, 22 is when it was canned. This is about the middle of November, so. Oh, Jack, about lost a carrot. Uh, there's been 1.8k check ins. 6.9%, uh, 60 IBU. It says it's American IPA, but it does say West Coast. Yeah, it's got that really uh, kind of an oldish kind of a smell to it. Really yeasty, kind of caramel, little sugary notes. All right, let's get on into it. Hmm, it's a little different than most West Coast that I've had. It's got a little bit more of a lemon lime note with it. All right, like the bold colors and patterns of tie-dye shirt. The West Coast style IPA is bursting with psychedelic hoppy and fruity aromas, swirling with abundant American hop flavors and bitterness and a vintage malt backdrop. That maltiness is uh, very, very forward. Uh, see if anybody had anything interesting to say or anything at all to say because it's looking very, very grim at this point in time. All right, so like I said, got a little lemon lime thing with it really west coast-esque but it's also very malty like it's kind of old tasting but i mean really it's only been like two three months and it shouldn't be that note but whatever uh back to the original style i guess so buddy i couldn't tell you All right, jack you got two little small pieces left please don't bite my finger off thank you Jack's becoming a pretty good uh, addition to the channel, for one, for me. It's someone I can talk to and hang out with and pet and so forth and so on. And this is your last bit of the carrot for this review, buddy. you got two more carrots left, but not for this beer. And uh, it seems like people, you know, like Jack. And how could you not like Jack? I will say he's a little smaller than most typical donkeys. I don't know how old he is. If we can find one or two more. Yeah, I got the heated jacket on. Uh, this is uh, this was part of a big package I did with... Uh, I forgot the name of the clothing company. But they're like a third-party seller, and I quit screwing with them. Because they were taking, like, Grunt Style and other American companies, their, their logos exactly, and just putting it on their shirts. And since they're a Chinese-based company, it takes forever to get it. You don't know if you're going to get it and you know still in american designs when i can get the actual design from an american company for just a few dollars more and get it probably a month earlier yeah it didn't seem like a good idea to continue to uh push their company i forgot the name of the company Shit. people even ask me why do you keep the videos up well because if you read the comments or even in the second video you can tell i'm not too happy with it I didn't even do a third video for them. Uh, they sent me a big package of stuff. It was like a 17 pound package of stuff. And I didn't do a video for it. I know I did a video for this coat because this is about the best thing they had to offer, especially for the price. From last night, tasty. All right, good for you. That's about all she had wrote from uh, Untapped here. Is there a way you could set up Untapped to see only reviews that had, uh, you know, written reviews? I mean, that'd be really nice to, to actually have. Good boy. I mean, it started snowing yesterday. Yeah. I mean, it, it melted in two hours, but...
All right, so let me give my review. Um, for being 6.9%, it seems to have really smooth flavors with it. Lemon, lime, a little bit of orange, but it has that West Coast kind of a salt base sprinkling uh, from beginning to end. Like I said, that maltiness is, so they say it's supposed to be that way. So maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But to me, it's a little too malty forward, like it has that old IPA kind of a flavor. Go away. Um... But I mean, if it says a six pack for 14 bucks, yeah, I'd do it. I think it's a, it's a good base beer to drink as is. Or if you just want to squeeze off a little bit of orange or whatever else in it, any other sort of fruit, then you can. So, all right, there you go. This did get a 3.83 out of five. I do one through 10 because one through 10 gives you more options. That's just the way I think. And it's honestly, it, it makes more sense. You can do it by percentage. So, all right, every 5%, you can even tail it down to the 1%. I don't do that because if someone says, I give it a 74, just say 75. Um, that's going to be a hair over 7.5, 7.66. Uh, I'll say 8. It's just a hair bit be better than, than that for me. Not a big fan of it, not a big West Coast fan in general, but I think for what they're going for, if it's this, if it's a 4-pack... And it's ten dollars on the dot. Fine. It's a twelve pack, and it's thirteen dollars. Fine. If it's any higher than that, can't do it. Especially being local, there's a lot of uh, good breweries here in Oklahoma. I'd rather get um, Coop Ale Works. Their F5 IPA, I think, is a better West Coast. It's cheaper. I think the percentage is higher. So there you go. Once again, we got Jack. Knock a bump. All right, we'll be seeing you.